Hello, in this lecture, I'm going to discuss the concept of variation, right? And some other aspects of variation that you need to know so that um, you can smash good grades in your examinations, all right? So, but before we go deeper into what variation is, I would like to explain briefly the term variation. Variation actually refers to the term that is used to describe the relationships between two or more quantities okay in such a way that the change in one quantity results in the change in another quantity all right is that okay so when we talk about the relationship that exists between two or more quantities then we are dealing with variation in mathematics actually now we use a particular symbol to denote variation so basically the symbol denotes variation so for instance if i say a particular quantity a varies with another quantity b so this is just the mathematical expression of the statement i just gave all right so now basically we have four major types of variation we have four major types of variation the first one which is the direct variation and um, just like the name implies Direct variation shows the direct relationships between quantities. Okay, it shows how one quantity, let's say quantity X, varies directly as another quantity Y or any other quantity, as the case may be. Okay, it could be A, it could be B, it could be C, or any other quantity. Mathematically, we can say that. Let's say quantity A varies directly as quantity B. Is that okay? Now, the implication of this is that as quantity A increases, quantity B also increases, all right? And vice versa. That is, if quantity A decreases, quantity B will also decrease. Do you understand? All right. If that is taken, then let us go to the second type of variation, which is the in direct variation and the indirect variation sometimes it is called the inverse variation all right it shows the indirect relationship between two or more quantities as the case may be for instance if we say that okay it is denoted mathematically as let us to consider quantities a and b so we have a varies inversely as b and the mathematical implication of this is that as the quantity A increases, quantity B decreases and vice versa. That is, if quantity A decreases, quantity B will, all, will increase as well. Is that okay? So that is what the indirect variation is basically talking about. Now going over to the third type of variation, which is known as the joint variation the joint variation what does the joint variation actually imply it means that there is the the relationship between two or more quantities that is one quantity is related to more than one other quantity is that okay now don't worry in our subsequent class we will talk about all these variations all these types of variations in details but this is just like an introduction to the concept of variation all right okay now the last type of variation is the partial variation and what does the partial variation actually mean it implies that the variables okay depends on another variable such that one independent variable remains the same take note of that one independent variable remains the same always and the other changes and there is a particular factor that makes them to change the change according to the quantity of the independent variable that is being used don't worry like i said earlier that all these types of variations will be broken down in details in our subsequent class so this is where we'll draw the cutting on the introductory concept to variation all right so in our next class We'll go deeper into the concept of duration. See you in our next class.